It is a bright sunny day up here in the Emporium and my daughter Green Bee Explorer said that she sold some vintage soup mugs, cream soup mugs. Wait till you see them. However, I said to her, I'm like, I'm pretty sure they're not up here in the Emporium. And she goes, aren't they in the brown? Hi, this is Dina with Left Lane Finds and welcome back to my channel. Look at this beautiful Yankee Candle shade topper and underplate. I just love that basket weave design and the pretty pastel flowers on it. And why am I highlighting this item and telling you about it? Well, I had this listed up on eBay. I had it as a set, you know, the candle, the Yankee Candle would go in between there like that. So I had it listed up as a set, but I got a message from a customer saying, would you mind selling me just the underplate? She's like, I have the top, but not the bottom. Of course I'm going to do that. I only paid $3.50 for the set. So breaking it up means they're each only $1.75 each. So I took new pictures, I edited my initial um, listing, and then I'm going to create a separate listing for this. And so I put everything that was pertinent into the listing just for the plate, and I set it for $8. And she bought it, it was $8 plus shipping. As a reseller, it's good to be flexible and to think things through in a way that makes sense for the customers. When we list things, you know, it's not for our benefit, it's for their benefit. Yes, we get to flip items for profit, but if a customer asks you a simple thing such as, will you sell me just one of a two-piece set? Yes, of course, because I have sold many of these shade toppers by themselves. It's and I've also sold just the plates. So when you're out thrifting, and the, the one plate I sold was just a plain white plate, but somebody wanted it. It is such an easy thing to pick up and to do. And in this case, I revised a listing and I was able to flip it for profit. I created a second listing on eBay for this shade topper. Again, just look at those lovely pastel flowers. Perfect for the springtime. I listed it up on eBay for $23 plus shipping. Of course, I'm always running sales and I always let people make offers and I always give offers to people. Keep an eye out for my solds videos. I put them out at least tw twice a month and I tell you, you know, which platform the item sold on, how much I paid for it, and what I actually got for it in terms of price. It is a bright sunny day up here in the Emporium and my daughter Green Bee Explorer said that she sold some vintage soup mugs cream soup mugs. Wait till you see them. However, I said to her, I'm like, I'm pretty sure they're not up here in the Emporium. And she goes, aren't they in the brown cupboard? And I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure. I took all of this out. They weren't in here. I looked in here. They weren't here either. Now, some of this is just office supplies. It's not all my inventory. Not in here and not there. So I'm like, hmm, I think they're in the basement of her house. She still has a few items over there. Now she's up at her fiance's house, which is about 45 minutes away. So I'm gonna have to pop over to her house and take a look around and see if I can find her sold items. So I made it to my daughter's house and down in the basement underneath the stairs, she has this little closet Oh, it's dark in here. Let's put a light on. And in the closet, uh-huh, this is what I'm looking for. This box right here. Now, the one on top, oh, this is, okay. So this is the broken one. She didn't 
sell this one. She has multiple ones that are not broken. So let me get them out, take them back to my house, and I'll tell you all about them. Tell you how much she paid for them and what she sold them for. Here are the boxes that I picked up from my daughter's house. And this one has something else in it that I want to show you guys later. That is something that is not sold, but I still want to show it to you because it's kind of special. And these are the items that did sell. I showed you this one, which is the, you know, the broken one. But in these papers here, if I can get mine undone. Oh, that makes a lot of noise. Yeah, almost got it. Oh, sorry for all the paper noise, but haha, -ha. this is what she sold. Isn't that pretty? It is, well, it's, you can barely read that. I'll have to look at it myself <laughs> and let you know what that says because I can't remember. Um, oh, I can actually look at her listing on her eBay page and then I will know a little bit more about it. So let me do that and I'll give you more details. Here's a better look at these cream soup bowls. They're double handled. That's how you know they're a cream soup bowl. And just look at the beautiful pattern on there. Sorry for the glare on that. And it they also came with these beautiful under plates or, you know, I'm not sure what else to call them. They're just the little plates that these sit on. Here is the name. Let me get my camera to focus. It says Victorian on it. It's Johnson Brothers, England. And that's what I couldn't read on this right there. But now that I know what the name is, I can see it. But it's like impossible. It's incised uh, on the bottom of the, the soup bowls. Uh, so, my daughter paid uh, $12 for the whole set, and there's six bowls and seven plates, so it works out to be $0.92 cents a piece. She knew when she bought this as a whole set that this one was broken. You know, that happens sometimes. You have to bring the broken ones home, too, and uh, so I have a box downstairs where I, where I put all my broken items, and I was thinking about doing like you know some sort of craft project with it but but Alyssa came up with a different idea she was like you know other people like to do craft projects like that and if we put together like a whole box of you know chipped and broken you know items whether it be like bowls like this or plates I have lots of plates and things like that that I can throw into that box we were like why not just sell the whole box as a crafting crafting, you know, material and uh, kind of do it that way. Basically, not to charge that much for it. Basically, they just pay shipping and, a, you know, a little bit of the, you know, fees, you know, to cover the fees and things like that. You know, we're not trying to make money on it, but we thought somebody might appreciate getting all the different, you know, patterns and stuff like that. Uh, so anyways, that was our thought around that. Still don't know if that's what we're going to do. Either we're going to use it for a project or we'll let somebody else use it as a project. Or I could put that whole box up on Facebook Marketplace and just have it as a local pickup for some, some local artists. That's another idea. So Alyssa, or Green Bee Explorer, had this set up as one set of two together and one single together in her listing. So it was actually two separate listings. On this one where she had the two together, she had actually promoted that listing. I'm not sure what she promoted it for in terms of percent. And this one she did not. However, the person bought all three. They'll get combined shipping on this. So Alyssa's cost on that for the six pieces would be $5.52. $5 and she sold it for a total of $61.99 plus shipping. Not only did Green Bee Explorer have a sale on eBay, but I had a sale too. But I sold my item on Etsy. And it's in the closet. It's a bit dark out today because it's rainy and overcast. And I don't have a light in this closet, but you can see it right there. It is so bright and shiny. I sold my brass duck. Let me take it over to the filing cabinet and tell you all about it. 
Here's a better look at this beautiful brass duck. It is a planter where you could put a real plant in there or put something in it and um, do like a, you know, faux flowers and all that. Or just as is. This is kind of heavy. I mean, it is heavy. It would be great on a bookshelf to hold books up. It's really pretty because it's so shiny. I actually did not do anything to the patina, but you can, you know, brighten these up. Uh, there is uh, cleaners, which I can't think of the name of the cleaner right now, but I think you guys can research that on your own. Um, I don't even have brass cleaner, so that's why I don't know the name of it, but you can shine these up even more, but it looks so shiny just as is. I paid $3 at a church thrift store for this. I remember seeing it and be like, oh, please don't be too much, because sometimes they price brass things like really expensive. But it was only three dollars i sold it on etsy um, i had it listed for 29 dollars, but i was running a sale and the person got um, that you know sale discount so they paid 23 dollars and 80 or i'm sorry 23 dollars and 20 cents for it plus shipping When I came back from my vacation to Traverse City, if you guys want to see that video, um, that was uh, put up on Saturday, so you can go back and watch uh, some clips from my vacation. Anyways, um, when I got back from that trip, I put my um, Etsy shop uh, well on sale, or I, I ran a sale, and uh, so I was hoping to drum up some business because this was the first month that I had no sales in my Etsy shop, which is odd because I keep adding more and more items to it, and um, Oh, that was my phone. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> so anyways, um, I hadn't had any sales at all which is really odd because i keep putting more and more new items in there and you know as i'm selling out and putting more in i'm trying to maintain somewhere between 50 and 70 items i haven't gotten anywhere near the 70 items but i did get up to almost 60 items but i'm back down to like 40 some because you know as um things kind of fall off uh because they only list for a few months and then they fall off again you have to relist them but also i was selling items on a pretty regular basis but so i was really surprised when i had no sales in april until i sold this duck and we are at the end of april here so um that was pretty interesting from that perspective is that I wasn't expecting it to be so slow in my Etsy shop. So let's just unwrap this real quick and let me show you what this is. Look at that. Here's a better look at it. Do you guys see the dragons on this on the edges? And look at that beautiful like tile. I mean tile. <laughs> teal. I meant teal color. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this teacup. Look at that dragon on there. And then what is that? That's like almost like a a bull's head with the horns there. Isn't that just a beautiful teacup and saucer? So my daughter has this up on her eBay store. I don't know how much she has it listed for. I didn't look that up, but it is Wedgwood. It says uh, Bone China Made in England. I have to tilt it so I can actually see it. Isn't that neat? And look at the stamp on there. But she got it for all the right reasons. The color, the design, the you know the motif on it, and that it's wed Wedgwood. I cannot believe that this has not sold yet. It is adorable. So I wanted to highlight it here for everybody who loves vintage and vintage teacups. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you for watching. Put any comments or questions down below and I'll catch you guys later.